Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for retrieving a shawl my wife made after she was uninvited from the wedding. My wife Lena, loves to crochet, and often gifts her creations to friends and family. When her second oldest brother got married, she made a shawl for the bride to wear over her dress, and ever since, she has continued this tradition for other family members getting married. Now, Lena's oldest brother George, is getting married again. Lena doesn't have a good relationship with George, because he was abusive to her as a child. However, she remains polite and distant with him, to maintain connections with the rest of the family. When Lena's mom asked her to crochet a shawl for George's fiancé, Lena agreed, though she arranged for me to deliver it at work to avoid seeing George. Earlier this week, the shawl was completed, and I emailed George at work to let him know that I would bring it in today, as the wedding is tomorrow. When I got into work this morning, I gave George the shawl and let him know that Lena and I were looking forward to the wedding. Come lunchtime, Lena called me to let me know that George's fiancé had called her and told her that she was no longer invited to the wedding citing the place they are having the wedding and the reception at is too small for the number they have coming so are having to make cutbacks. However I was still invited to the wedding. I was mad at this because they clearly only invited Lena to get a shawl, which to me is just rude. If they had asked Lena outright to make one, she probably would have done because she loves to crochet. On my way out of work, I noticed George wasn't at his desk, but the shawl was. I was still mad that they had used Lena to get a shawl and I just shoved it in my work bay. I left a note on his desk telling George since Lena was no longer invited, the shawl and I would no longer be attending either. On my way home I told Lena what I had done and asked her if she wanted to go out instead, so not to waste having a sitter. Leah was upset that I had taken the shawl as it was causing an uproar in her family group chat where people were calling her petty because I took it back. Lena wants me to give it back. I don't think I should, they don't deserve Lena's kindness. However at the same time I don't want Lena to be upset with me over George and a shawl. Edit. I've messaged the group chat, letting them know that I took it and if they should be pissed at anyone, then it should be me, but I would also do it again because no one gets to be a dick to Lena. I have absolutely no idea how to post an update in AITA, so I figured it was best to post it here in case anyone is interested in it. So everyone will be glad to know that I have not given George back the shawl. I mean part of the reason I haven't given it back is because he's on his honeymoon, I hope has rained for the two weeks, but even if he wasn't I still wouldn't give it back. Later that evening Lena apologized for being mad at me, she said that she should have never agreed to make the shawl in the first place, and was grateful I had taken it back. Lena and I had a long discussion about her family and how they treat her. I told her that I would always stand up for her when it comes to her family because I will stand strong when she can't. I asked her what she thought about going lower contact, we were already low contact with George, his now wife and her mom. Lena said that she wanted to go no contact with George, his wife, her mom, and to go low contact with everyone else but her second oldest brother and his wife, we'll call them Michael and Sarah. She said she wanted to do this because of how toxic the group chat had become which she has now left and has shown me that she has left and deleted the chat. We have both blocked everyone but Michael and Sarah. I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks before I broach therapy for Lena again. I just want the dust to settle a bit as I don't want her to feel pushed into anything. The story the wife gave Lena about there not being enough space was bullshit, Michael confirmed that George had told him weeks ago that they were well under numbers for their venue. It was just a shit attempt at a power move. I know some Redditors were concerned about my work life after I took the shawl. I spoke with my manager and told him that Lena had made a shawl for George's wife, but they had given a shit reason for uninviting her to the wedding the day before the wedding and I took it back. When I told my manager this, he sighed heavily before telling me that he wished I hadn't taken the shawl because George could make things difficult for me, but that he would have done exactly the same thing because George is a nightmare. I told him that I'd like to move to another team because it wasn't good for Lena to have to be around him. He told me to leave it with him and he would see what he could do. I'd have moved when George was first put on my team, but Lena encouraged me not to as she didn't want me to rock the boat with her family. I heard back on Monday that I will be getting moved to another team at the end of the week. This other team is desperate for someone. So when my manager reached out to other managers to see if anyone had an internal vacancy this manager bite his arm off. The day of the wedding, Michael called Lena and asked what our plans had been for the day. Michael knew that Lena wasn't invited to the wedding and rightly assumed I wouldn't go if she wasn't welcome. Lena told him that we had planned to go out for dinner and drinks. Michael told her that sounded like a plan and to text him where we were going for dinner. Michael and Sarah had decided to skip the wedding after seeing the meltdown of George, his wife and their mom in the group chat, apparently they continued spouting abuse at Lena, even though she had left the group chat. 
when the family turned on me and our children was when Michael and Sarah decided they weren't going to the wedding at all, they were just going to go to the ceremony after Lena had been uninvited. They messaged George to tell him their flight had been delayed, and they wouldn't be able to make it their flight wasn't delayed, it was just the excuse they used and George never responded. Michael had seen George's abuse of Lena firsthand, he had tried to protect Lena where he could, but there was only so much he could do as a child himself and didn't want to be on the receiving end of George's temper either. As an adult, he took the first chance he had to move away from his family while only maintaining contact with Lena. So we went out with Michael and Sarah, having a much better night than we would have done at the wedding. There was no snide comments, no belittling, nothing. Lena was happy as she got to see Sarah, and that was what she was looking forward to. Lena being happy was all I wanted. It's all I ever want, my family to be happy. Both Michael and Sarah's phones did keep going off all night as M.I.L. and George kept messaging them angry at their non-attendance, especially after Michael posted a picture of the four of us together having drinks on Facebook with a caption about how he was choosing Lena over George going forward because she doesn't use people to get what they want like George did over, a crochet shawl. Michael admitted to me later that he did this to anger George because he'd have a meltdown at the reception, and then his in-laws could see what an ass he actually is. Even the gleeful messages I got from Michael last week after he had heard back from a cousin who attended, George had a complete meltdown. Lena knows about this post, but she is not comfortable with me posting pictures of her work. She considered unraveling the shawl, but she found it difficult to undo all her hard work which I understand. It's the very reason I didn't unravel it myself and tell George it was an Ikea shawl well, that, and I didn't want to face a mad Lena. After talking with Sarah about what to do with it, she has decided that she's going to keep it, but she will dye it. Michael suggested that she wears it to the family Christmas, we aren't going to see Lena's family at Christmas, so it won't be happening anyway. Michael and I are at the same level of pettiness as I had previously suggested, as some people comment on my original post that I could wear it to work when George is back. I didn't show Lena many of the comments, she doesn't need to see people calling her a doormat or saying she needs to grow a spine. Those people clearly haven't had their spirit completely broken by the people who are meant to love them unconditionally or were completely cut out of family events. When George graduated from uni, Lena was left at home, she was eight years old and left home alone all day. Christmas was spent mostly in her bedroom, because her grandmother didn't want Lena around as her presence would just upset George, until she was fourteen then she would sneak out and spend it with me and my family. Lena was just left out of everything. Her dad used to work away from home a lot so he had no idea what was going on, he just assumed Lena liked her own space. Not that she would just stay in her room because she was used to being neglected by her family. TDLR, we're going no contact with George, his wife and Lena's mom. Lena is keeping the shawl and we will discuss therapy in the future. Neither of us attended the wedding, nor did Michael or Sarah. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.